this man kept trying to put me in this space as a side bitch, as a the other woman or whatever. This man, I wasn't willing to accept the reality that this man knew I was brilliant, knew that I'm dope as shit as a lawyer. And the only times that he told me that is when he needed me to do something. The same man that I had to fight to get paid. So you right, sis, he didn't want me. He didn't want me. I was just a fuck. Yeah, yeah. The same person that I loved unconditionally as a friend, I had to fight to get paid as a lawyer, a female. So you treat black women like this? So while y'all in the bed laughing at me and I'm just a fuck and, oh, I posted on, on one of the posts. There was a time in 2018 where I was assaulted by a male roommate. I was in my closet fearing for my life. I didn't know if I was going to be raped. I didn't know if I was going to be killed. Because my gun, actually, this gun that I had, I had this gun at the time. My gun was in my car. It wasn't inside the house. All I had was my phone, and I was in a closet for 22 minutes before I was able to get out. Not even the police came in that apartment off of Northside Drive to help me. Now, the roommate I had was never anybody I dated. It was strictly business. And the reason why I got a roommate, because I wanted to save money to purchase a house. So I know how to sacrifice and save. I know how to handle my business. I live off of Tiffany Michelle Simmons, not no nigga. Ain't no nigga bought none of my shit. A motherfucker asked for receipts on their birthday last year. If she wanted receipts of jewelry or clothes or purses or stupid shit like that. Sis, I'm going to tell you, no, he didn't buy my shit. He didn't buy my chain from Wafy. I bought that. I bought that. He didn't buy my trucks or my cars or, or pay for my house. I did that. I do that. Like I say in every interview, ain't no nigga paying for shit for Simmons Law. I do that. God take good care of me. And I thank God that God is my source, not man. Because if man was my source, I would have to put up with shit that I don't want to put up with to live a certain mm -hmm. lifestyle. And again, it's not even a, to have a jab at that lady because much respect to her as a woman that's hurt by someone that she loved. When I left my ex-husband, I felt like I was sleeping with my enemy. When I left my ex-husband, I felt like, you know, um, I, I, I was friends with my Judas. You know, when I left my ex-husband, all I had was my, this to protect me. I didn't have no man. I didn't have, you know, that support of a lover. So again, we're talking about tonight, women have a hard time facing the realities they are willing to lie to their self. I lied to myself. I lied to myself as it pertains to that man too. But I damn for sure ain't never lied in, in, in delusion of where I was chasing him or I constantly wanted him or none of that shit. Anything that I've done concerning that man, I do because I'm Tiffany. I am kind. I am loving. I am supportive. I am the plug. So I plug motherfuckers on the plays. Kane's the dog daddy. I plugged him on the money. I plugged that the dog daddy on to a job. I pl I pray for niggas. I pray for females. I give cards to people. So let's keep going. Early on when I was friends with this particular, damn, we got agents checking in. Oh, shit. Everybody, oh, order in the court, order in the court. But anyway, the year that I gave that man, uh, I gave him, I treated him kind. I gave him cards. I gave him four foot roses. That was the same year I got three foot roses. No, I gave him three foot roses. And I got four foot roses that year. Like I was trying to be kind and show this man love because this was a man that everybody around him needed him. So I gave kindness to him. 
I never once said I was committed to this man out of all these years of knowing him. We was never committed. Never at all. I can agree with you, sis. Never. I ain't been committed to no man. I've dated. I've loved. I've liked. To be honest, the, the, the motherfucker that I loved for years in Florida, hell, if he had wanted to commit, bitch, I would have been, I would have committed to him and probably would have moved to Florida on y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> but I am currently single by choice. My real reality is I had low level people around me low frequency people around me i chose low frequency people around me i chose that a lot of times i'm the smartest one in the room and i hate that because i want to learn i want to grow that's why i made the post on hood court like i'm tired of even talking about these lame ass topics i don't deal with the toxic shit because i know how toxic toxic shit can tear up families if i wanted to you know, run my mouth and get attention or clout off that man's name, I could have been said some shit. But you know what? I am a child of a blended family. And because I respect kids, a lot of shit, I disrespected myself giving them the respect because it was a kid involved. If that makes sense to you. Hood Jersey, if that makes sense to you, give me some hearts. Or am I just rambling?